we will move on to the second problem in the second problem it is similar to that of first problem because you are asked again to find out the cash book balance now i just read out it says that murti and sons pass book showed a balance of rupees 21700 that means you are again given passbook balance that means this person or this businessman has in his bank 21700 but this is according to his banker so we have to find out according to this man that is murti and murti how much he should have in bank that is what is cash book balance now you are asked to prepare brs on 30th september 2013 so that's why we have written bank reconciliation statement as on 30 9 now first thing we have written balance as per pass book since it is a favorable balance we would be writing it in this plus column So twenty one thousand seven hundred in plus column. Now, since passbook balance is given, cash book balance will be our target. Now, this format I have again made empty for our convenience. Now, we you can refer this and put your each statement in this to check. whether the target balance that is cash book balance is increasing or decreasing because of it now statement a states that checks issued now immediately look into the format and see where you find the word check issued it is on the credit side of cash book so checks issued but not presented for payment 2500 so checks issued not presented for payment 2000 i am entering on the credit side of cash book not presented for payment means what you gave check to your someone that person did not go and take the money from the bank so naturally when that person did not take money from the bank bank will not do anything with what you have done in cash book as an entry so now let us find the impact as a result of 2500 being entered on the payment side the cash book balance should come down now we are finding out cash book only so the balance should come down means we should put the arrow down right 2500 here now balance coming down means we should minus you know that so here just write the same statement i am not writing the entire statement you can write the same statement as check issued but not yet presented for payment since it has to be deducted i am entering 2500 in the minus column now let us see the b bit directly deposited by a customer 3000 direct deposit by customer means your customer is directly putting money in your bank account since he goes directly to bank banker will know at first so when banker knows first the entry will be first in the passbook direct deposit check here which side in passbook it is on the receipt side or credit side so enter that amount on the receipt side of your passbook 3000 so what will happen when something is entered on the credit side of passbook passbook balance will increase but we are finding out cash book we should give the opposite treatment now for cash book so cash book balance will decrease how much it will decrease by 3000 again you know decrease means minus means this 3000 should be placed or put in the deduct that is minus column so same statement you write checks deposited directly by customer so 3500 in the minus column now moving on to the next column that is if you see here it uh, the c says that interest credited by bank 
bank is crediting the interest as a result the entry will be made by bank so bank makes entry into which book into passbook interest credited means interest is entered on the credit side so enter this amount of 575 on the credit side of your passbook now see the impact passbook balance when amount is entered on credit side or receipt side it will increase so we are finding out cash book give the opposite treatment for this 575 so according to us cash book balance will decrease by 575 when it because it is decreasing we have to enter this in minus column so you will write interest credited by bank in passbook so minus how much 575 now the next debit Checks deposited in bank but not credited rupees 3500. Checks deposited. Who? It is not stated. Then it is by you. So when you are depositing check in a bank, you know about it. So the entry will be made in the cash book. Check which side? Checks deposited will be on the debit side. So when you enter anything on the debit side of cash book, cash book balance should increase and we are finding out in this problem cash book balance and it is increasing so add the amount of rupees 3500 so because balance is increasing and then next so here debit checks deposited into bank 3000 500 now the next statement the last one bank charges 150 bank charges 150 now bank charges look into the formats where you find it is nothing but service charges so let us enter this amount on the debit side of passbook 150 so when you enter on the debit side of passbook passbook balance will come down passbook balance will come down what is our target cash book so opposite will be the effect on cash book so if passbook balance is coming down we say cash book balance will go up so how much 150 how much it is minus sorry it is add so you will say bank charges recorded in passbook or you can also say bank charges not recorded in cash book. How much? 150 and. I am very sorry. The previous amount 3500 should be added. I have put it in the minus column. I am shifting this to positive column. 